In this session, you will get to know some of the basics of Splunk. I mean, you will be introduced with its basic navigation and layout. So if you have installed Splunk in your system, to start Splunk, you will directly go to web browser. And here you will write localhost because Splunk has been configured in the localhost only. Then colon and 8000. 8000 is the by default port that is used by Splunk. So, so this is the final layout of Splunk. So you can see it has four navigation bars, namely add data, Splunk apps, Splunk docs, Splunk answers. So I will explain them one by one. So first of all, when you click on add data, so here it will directly lead towards the page that is upload, monitor and forward. So by upload, you can have files get uploaded from your system. So you can have various files like you have local files, you have local structured files that is written here. And by clicking on clicking on uploading, you can upload them into your Splunk and start the searching then you have monitor here you can monitor various web ports and you can also uh, monitor the websites you can also monitor the tcp and udp ports provided by your network then the third navigation bar that is the forward if you want to collect any remote data from a remote machine then you will use forward at this time you will not you you have not installed any forwarder in any system so you cannot have any forwarded data in your system so going back now moving on to second navigation bar that is splunk apps so here you will find the collection of applications developed by splunk only and you can also develop a, an app here by clicking on that it will show you various apps that were developed by splunk here you have a list of app developed by Splunk you can install them free the first of all app is Splunk app for Unix and Linux then you have LGPL app and various apps so you can install them by just clicking on install free now moving again to the home so the third navigation bar that is Splunk documentation so here you will find various information about Splunk how to install them how to use their features how to install various apps and all so if you want to click on that it will lead towards a page that is Splunk documentation here you find various help menu for various tools and features of Splunk so you can have release notes search tutorial admin manual etc so here you have installation manual as well as the data model and pivot tutorial so you can use them then at the last here is the Splunk community which have the various question and answers collections. So if you want to click on that, it will lead towards the page. So you can have answer for every query of yours. So this is the page of Splunk answers. Now moving towards the menu bar. So first of all, you have the your user account menu bar that is. So here you can edit your account by clicking on that you can change your name as well as your email your password and various things and here you have settings so in settings you have various knowledge events like you have data models even types types etc then you have distributed environment to get data from various remote machines so you can configure them here then you have system and in system you can have server control server settings you can change your server settings as well as server controls so in server controls you have an option to restart splunk so here you can restart your splunk now moving towards settings again then you have in the data section you can have data from various inputs so if you want to click on data inputs then it will show you the various data sources like you have local event log collection, remote event log collections and etc. Then you have forwarding and receiving indexes and report acceleration summaries. In forwarding and receiving, you can define any port for forward and receive any data from a remote location. 
then in the access control this is the speciality of splunk you can permit any user to have access to your data so if you want to click on that then here you have authentication method you can have the authentication as username as pa as well as the password then you have users so it will show you various users if you want to add new user to your splunk then you can add new then you have roles for each and every user in the role section so in the role section you can declare which user have access to your data then at the last the activity menu bar so here you have various jobs configured in your splunk system so by clicking on jobs you can see what are the jobs running in, in your system so at this time there is no job because splunk has been just started and going to towards the activity again then it has triggered alerts so at this time you haven't have any triggered alerts but when you start and when you again click on the triggered events it will show you some triggered events then at the last it has help it will show you the version that is the 6.0 then it has the tutorials to learn splunk and splunk answers that is the community for question and answers then it has the contact supports etc so this was all about the splunk navigation and its basic layout